Hello everyone, welcome to my next video in the Django security uh, series. Uh, in this video, we will look at user login and user logout. So let's get into it. Let's start with user login. Okay, so uh, we have this uh, index page here where we have two buttons for sign up and login. So the, for the sign up, uh, we looked at uh, sign up in the previous video. So if, uh, if you have not uh, checked it out, please go and watch it. So we already created for sign up. Now next we want to implement the login uh, mechanism. Okay. So to do that, uh, so I have this index page here. I also have the home page here. So if I go to slash home, I have the home page here. Okay. So what I want to do basically is I want to restrict this page to only the authenticated user. Okay. So uh, what should happen is when I am in this index page, when I log in, when I press login, there will be a login form. And when uh, that authentication is, uh, is is correct, when the authentication is passed, they should be redirected to the uh, home page here. Okay, so only the authenticated user uh, would need to uh, should be able to get access to this page. So that's what we are trying to implement. Okay, so to do that, what we have to do is we have to utilize some uh, inbuilt views of uh, of django all right so let's go back to the editor and in the urls.py file here right we have to first import those uh, uh, default or inbuilt uh, views so the first view that we we want is basically the login view all right so we have to get that from uh, uh, we have to first import that. So from uh, Django dot contrib dot auth. Okay, I'll import certain views, but I'll name it as auth views so that I it's easier for us to use it here, right? I'll import the auth views here. So what I will do here is we want login, right? So I'll have a login here, and then I'll say auth views dot login view so this is the view that we uh, we want right login view this is a class based view this is an inbuilt class based view that is being provided by Django to us so that we so that we can easily implement this uh, login mechanism right so we have this login view dot since it is a class based uh, view we have to use as view as well right and then we have to give a name for the URL so let's say login okay so we have it this way here uh, correct so now we have to uh, provide this login url in the uh, index.html file so let's go to the page so we have templates app and in index.html we have this right so we have to provide uh, let's take from here itself login yeah so now whenever i uh, press here into login it will go to the login view uh, file right now what happens in that login view is it will go to uh, it will have a form it will it utilize a form uh, the, the login form and then pass that login form to uh, a login.html file which should be there in the registrations folder so here if you remember in the previous uh, video we created a, a registration folder under the templates uh, directory or templates folder right so what we have to do is uh, we have to create a login.html file here okay uh, and the view the login view will provide the form the login form into this login.html file so that's the default um, uh, html file that uh, uh, or that is the default location uh, of the login.html file it's under templates registration login.html okay uh, here you can provide an alternate uh, html file which is saying template with template uh, equals and you can provide the path to the uh, 
to the to the um, uh, login.html file if you don't want to use it within registration here right uh, let me just correct it let me just see if that was that's the correct name where the template is the correct attribute uh, Django login let me just check where is it yeah template name yeah. so we can use the template name here so this is the class so we can use the template name here as the attribute and provide the uh, uh, the path to the uh, login.html file if we don't want to use the default registration login.html file yeah that's what we're, but now uh, i prefer to use this uh, login.html file and we have created the login.html file and what i will do is i'll the structure of it i will copy the same as how we did for sign up um, so i'll give the title as login instead of sign up and here as well i'll provide login i uh, will include the same form because it's, it's a generic form and then we'll have with form is equal to form so this is the form that will be provided by the login view uh into this uh into this template right and here i will have log in instead of sign up and cancel is correct we'll go back to the index page yeah the rest everything remains the same we are utilizing the bs5 form that we created in the previous uh tutorial okay let's go back to our application hopefully it works so i'll click on log in I have a weird looking form here. Let me check what the problem is. Ah, yeah. So, <laughs> so this is not correct. Okay, refresh. Yeah. So I have login and then I have the username and password field. So I have the login form now, right? So if I enter a correct password, uh, username and password what happens yeah so it's going to accounts slash profile right uh, it's getting authenticated but it's getting redirected to something called account slash profile which is the default um, next uh, url okay so to change that we have to go to settings so basically we have to tell django where the, do we want to get redirected after login so for that there is a uh it's a variable called login redirect url and we can provide the url name so in this case it will be uh, app and app home because we want to get directed redirected to the home page after our login right after successful login we want to get redirected to the home page right so let's go back let's go back let's log in again i'm entering a valid password username password enter now it's get log, log uh, it get, it goes to the home page what happens if i enter a wrong password let me check so I'll just entering some epic value it's getting a wrong message saying that the username and password is incorrect right so that is successful uh, i will enter a correct username and password yeah so we are here in the home page but uh, looking at here we are not getting a feeling that okay this actually become belongs to the authenticated user there, there is no personal personalization right sorry there's no personalization oh, whatever okay so it's not personalized right yeah so here what i will do is i want to have a i want to have a uh a, a drop down uh with a uh, image icon which says that you know it belongs to the user right so for that i have a 
I have to go to the base.html file. Where is base.html file? Yeah, here. To go to the base.html file and add a new sort of uh, navigation link, nav link somewhere here. Mm, let me check. Yeah. To add a new link here. Okay. Right. So this is the uh, this is the um, navigation link that I've I've added here. So what it basically does it it's it's uh, also from uh, Bootstrap. Um, so you can get a navbar link where you you sort of get the uh, you know uh, a, a link uh, towards the end of the navigation bar, right? And here is what we have mentioned as a user. So this so user in um, double curly uh, brackets will give the actual name of the of the user or the correct username of the user yeah so that's what we have and to add to it uh, when we click on it we also have a change password and logout uh, drop down button so let's go back uh, to our page and refresh here we have jaren and when you click on it you'll have change password and logout okay so now that we have implemented the login functionality let's go ahead and add the logout functionality so to do that we have to go uh, and add a url in this logout uh, button which is there in the base.html file here okay so here we will add the URL to log out, which will be something like uh, to have some convenience. <laughs> so instead of URL and log out. Okay, so this is this will be the logout URL. And to add this, I have to go to the urls.py file and say path logout same thing or the views dot log out view which is the class based view provided by django as view and provide a name as log out yeah so now this will uh, uh, help us to log out so let's go back refresh this and log out what happens is you are getting the Django administration logout page. Okay, we don't want it. We want it to be the index page. So to do that, we have to go to settings and like login redirect URL, we have to mention the logout redirect URL. So that will be something like this, the logout redirect URL, which will be the index page. Okay, so let's go back and say, login like this when I log out it goes back to the index page because we have mentioned that we want to log out and get uh, redirected to the index page so that's working fine as well okay now the that's how we implement the logout functionality very simple right next we we said that we want to restrict the uh, home page to only authenticated user right but what happens when a user directly goes to the home page he is able to view everything right and you can see here that it's written as anonymous user right so what happens is yeah we have implemented the login functionality but we have not enforced it on these views like for example the home employees dns lookup we have not enforced login on these views okay so to do that we used to uh, we have to do something called login required or we have to add something called login required decorator to each view okay so let's go to the views and first let's import them so we import that from uh, from django country .auth. decorators 
import login required yeah so this is decorator so we want to add this decorator to all the views we want to keep as private so index we don't want to keep as private should be accessible to everyone sign up the same home but we want to keep it private so let's say add login required so that's how you mention a decorator so similarly we have to put in employees we have to put it in search employees and we have to also put it in dns lookup yeah these many views we are we want to keep it as private so now what happens when self lockout goes to who oops you can see that it's not getting proper it's saying page not found that is because we did not mention where should the page be redirected uh, in case someone is trying to access the uh, uh, a private view okay so for to mention that we have to use we have to go and mention something called you login url is what login right so that's the login url so what we are basically mentioning is if someone is trying to access a private view redirect him to this login page yeah let's refresh let's go back here and then now let's go to the home page here it's being redirected to the login page so what basically uh, the application is saying okay i'll give you access to the uh, to the home page but first authenticate yourself now when i authenticate as a correct user i get access right if i provided the wrong username and password i won't be allowed to go to the login page okay so this is how we enforce authentication onto a view which we want to keep it as private okay whichever view where you don't want to enforce uh, authentication like the uh, the index page the sign up page where you want to have everyone get access to it that's not we don't need to add it because that's an anyhow a public view right we only want to uh, uh, restrict access to these private views and that's what we are doing here okay so overall that's how you implement uh, login uh, and force authentication all the uh, all the on the private views and also add a uh, logout functionality to Django so that's it in this video in the next video we will learn about how to change the password so we will see how to implement a change password functionality in the application so thank you for watching this video guys uh, if you liked it if you found this useful please like share as well as subscribe to my channel thank you